hi guys and welcome back to the channel thanks for watching thanks for all the new subscribers welcome back all my loyal subscribers and for those who have been watching but who haven't subscribed it is completely free you it doesn't cost anything and yeah just hit that subscribe button and what that will do is that any video that I put out will immediately you will be immediately notified of it but to be on the safe side it's also a good idea to hit the notification notification bell that will ensure that any video that I put out you will immediately get it presuming of course that you like my content so with that being said the topic of this episode will be flooring flooring has been one of the things that we have traditionally in Jamaica looked at as a last resort it is usually not something that we think about as part of the entire design of the house we go oh well you know what we're going to just put in some tile floor and that is going to be it and usually it's the last thing we think about so having done the, the whole house then we go out and we start think about flooring and uh, if you're going to be building a nice house your floor should be one of the design elements that you consider along with all the other design elements and uh, that is what we are going to talk about today now the fact of the matter is that there are many different types of flooring and within each type of flooring there are many many variations and even in those variations there are different styles styles and qualities and so on. The type of flooring that you put in should be dependent on what that particular section of the house is going to be used for. For example, your kitchen and your bathroom should have flooring that can be easily cleaned that will withstand lots of water, chemical stuff, food, all sort of things are going to be spilled on your kitchen floor. And it needs also to be slip resistant. Your bathroom floor will also need to be slip resistant and essentially waterproof you do not want water soaking into your floor because of it is inevitable that your bathroom floor will always be wet bedrooms are a little different this is where your personal taste will shine so in a bedroom you can choose to have carpet or even cork now I have to say I have never actually seen a cork floor but I know they they exist and uh, apparently they are very warm and uh, easy to maintain. The issue that the cork floor will always have is moisture. Uh, they do not react very well to moisture so that is something that you need to think about. But hardwood floor, vinyl floor, marble floor is another thing that people may want to have in their bedroom. But again your bedroom is a very intimate thing. Generally speaking people will want to put something like carpet or hardwood floor or something that is a little bit more uh, friendly to the feet, to the bare feet inside of your bedroom. Of course, your living room is another high traffic area, but it is also generally the centerpiece of your house. It is where everybody who comes to visit, it's what they will see. It's the first thing they walk into your living room. So you want to have something that is nice, also something that is hard wearing. And uh, generally, ceramic or porcelain tiles are the best option for a living room. And these come in a wide variety of styles and colors and quality. It depends on your personal taste. It also depends on the decor of the living room and it also depends on the style because you may have an open concept living dining kitchen at which point you will have to consider the totality of what you are going to put into those three combined living spaces in that case porcelain or tile is usually the best bet they are hard wearing porcelain especially is extremely hard wearing glazed porcelain those are the best options of course hardwood is one of the most widely used flooring in a living room setting because of its versatility and the absolute beauty of having your entranceway into your house being made of beautiful wood whether it be cedar or oak or inlaid wood or with an inlaid medallion or any myriad of styles and patterns as mentioned before the main flooring that is used in jamaica is tiles ceramic and porcelain tile. Now, there is a slight difference between porcelain and ceramic. Porcelain is a harder wearing tile. It is made from the same material as your normal ceramic, glazed ceramic, but it is fired at a much higher temperature and therefore it is a harder wearing material and is usually applicable to commercial purposes. Now, many people do use them for residential purposes and there is nothing wrong with that. 
that. Porcelain, however, is generally a bit more expensive than your normal ceramic. And the fact that normal glazed ceramic is just as good is perfectly adequate for your residential application. Ceramic is extremely versatile in that they will come in hundreds of thousands of patterns. You can have them looking like marble, you can have ceramic and porcelain looking like all sorts of wood you can have them looking stone anything that you can conceive of you can have your ceramic tile looking that way they will come in plank sizes they will come in squares small squares large squares and all of that so it is an extremely versatile the flooring application and because it is so versatile the patterns that you can get from your porcelain and your ceramic tiles are essentially limited only by your imagination the possibilities are endless and of course with ceramic tiles and porcelain tiles you get what you pay for they are extremely expensive high-end high quality and there are lower end tiles so that is not to say that some of the lower end tiles are not really really great they are great looking tiles again the design the application is limited only by your imagination so you can take really really low end tiles and uh, put them together in a pattern that is extremely pleasing and will have a, have an extremely high aesthetic value and in terms of our application in Jamaica the bottom line is is that tiles are the most cost-effective option that you are going to have in flooring and that is the reason they are so popular of course there are other types of tiles other than ceramic tiles and those would include linoleum tiles, which is the sort of thing we call the peel and stick. There is vinyl laminate tiles. There are also wood tiles. There are stone tiles. And there are also granite tiles. Now, wood flooring has sort of gone out of favor in Jamaica because traditionally wood flooring was looked at as the only option for people who were less well-to-do. Unfortunately, and uh, the moment a tile flooring became an option, or what was known as terrazzo flooring became an option, people jumped on that. Now, there is actually a really good reason for that. Terrazzo floor is easy to install, and the wood flooring options that were available at the time were limited to what could be sourced locally, and they simply did not compare to the tile options that had recently become available, and so people people gravitated more toward the tile option and simply discarded and or forgot about the wood flooring. Now a lot of older houses do still have these tiles in them and people tend to rip them out and throw them away because over the years they do tend to become stained and they lose the shine and so on and the surface become pitted and all that but the fact is they can be refinished. People just do not know this and in any case it really is not a cost effective option it really makes no sense because the houses are old anyhow and many of them are ready to be torn down anyhow we are going to talk about wood flooring so there are three basic options in wood flooring firstly you have what is called solid wood and solid wood can be had in planks of all different widths lengths and uh, and styles so for solid wood floor you can have square tiles planks long boards wide board they can also come in what is known as rough hewn which is you know sort of your rustic looking it's not necessarily actually rustic just rustic looking boards and there is your parquet floor which can come in pre-manufactured patterns and so on solid wood flooring can of course be quite expensive depending on the type of wood the locking mechanism that is being used the thickness of the wood and a few other factors then you have have your engineered wood floor now your engineered wood floor comes in two different distinct types one is called particle board engineered wood flooring particle board is laminated with a real wood the real wood is only a few millimeters thick that is then laminated onto particle board the particle board is then cut into whatever desired shapes and length or style of flooring that you wish to use and this provides the wood flooring that 
looks exactly like solid wood. There is no way to tell the difference between that and your solid wood. The real difference is in the cost. The laminated particle board is much more cost effective. It's not as durable in terms of um, water resistance because of course it is particle board. So it is susceptible to expansion, massive expansion in fact, if it is soaked with water. But apart from that issue, it is a very cost effective way of installing wood flooring without the actual huge cost of solid wood. And of course it can be refinished just like solid wood. There is also something called LVL and that is laminated veneer lumber. That is basically plywood. So plywood which has been engineered for flooring is then laminated with the desired overlay of wood, the type of wood that you want to use for your wear material, the type that is on the top. That is again cut into your desired shapes and sizes and used as flooring. And of course all three of these wood options are available readily in Jamaica and it's simply a matter of deciding what is your price point what you what sort of money you want to spend because all three of these are appealing options to the tile option and it's simply a matter of deciding what sort of look you're going for in your build because if you're building your dream house and you have decided that instead of building something really very large you are going to take the option of building something smaller but you're going to make it a whole lot more luxurious wood and wood laminates are an appealing option. Now the next evolution in flooring is something called laminate flooring and usually when we say laminate flooring what we are referring to is um, vinyl laminate flooring. Vinyl laminate flooring generally consists of a number of different functional parts that are laminated together to form the entirety of the floor. That is then formed into the required dimensions for that particular floor. So your laminate floor usually consists of something called a, a wear layer. And that wear layer is that hard plastic and that is on the very top. That is the part that you walk on where your heels dig into below that is the picture of whatever pattern that you are going to use for that particular flooring. The pattern is usually something like wood. This pattern can imitate any type of wood simply because it is just a photograph and that photograph is then printed on that plastic that is covered over by the wear layer. On top of that wear layer by the way usually is a UV layer and the point of the UV layer is to prevent the photograph that is uh, laminated below the wear layer from being discolored or burnt out in the sun. Now that is then laminated on top of what is called your substrate straight layer. Now the substrate layer is uh, the main layer that is usually the thickest layer in this whole lamination process and that substrate layer usually contains the locking mechanism as well and under that the very last layer at the very bottom is usually called the backing layer. Now the backing layer is usually waterproof or water resistant or water absorbent and it's usually quite soft as well so that provides a little bit of a give so you have your backing layer, your substrate layer, your pattern layer, your wear layer, and your UV resistant layer. I should also mention that in the case of laminated particle board, this works in precisely the same way, except that where you would normally have what is called your pattern layer, this is substituted with real wood. So in your pattern layer, generally where you'd have your photograph printed onto a piece of plastic, which is then laminated onto your substrate layer, that is substituted with real wood and that's the only difference between vinyl laminate and particle board laminate. Now laminate flooring is becoming quite popular in Jamaica because the price point is usually very reasonable. You can get extremely cheap vinyl laminate flooring and uh, in fact they can be made to look exactly like real wood. One would be hard pressed to determine the difference when it is properly installed. It is also extremely versatile so it 
it is becoming a viable option in Jamaica and the ease of installation is one of the things that makes it so appealing to people who are doing something like a renovation where you have an old terrazzo tile floor for example you can simply just float this entire thing over your floor it takes you only a day to install and it comes out quite perfect well guys thanks for watching thanks for staying with me for this rather longer than usual video i think what we're going to do is do another two-parter so in the second part of this video i will talk about using concrete as flooring and in fact concrete can be quite beautifully done when you're talking about flooring but it has sort of fallen out of favor but uh, modern technology and modern materials have essentially brought concrete flooring back into vogue and uh, with a little bit of imagination and just a little bit of skill and determination concrete can actually become a viable flooring option again so in the next video we will talk about concrete as flooring so once more thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share the videos many people are watching and a lot of people have not subscribed so don't be afraid to hit the subscription button and hit the notification bell as well and look if you watch the video and you like it just hit the thumbs up button you know that it just helps out the video YouTube is a strange animal and they like when you show that you like the video so hit the, the like like button and you know that will help me out a lot so again thanks for watching and you all have a good day